It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1679, recorded Thursday, June 14th, 2018. Shake your booties. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by Casper, a sleep brand that continues to revolutionize its line of products to create an exceptionally comfortable sleep experience one night at a time. Get $50 off select mattresses by visiting casper.com slash gizwiz and using promo code gizwiz at checkout. On this episode of the Gizwiz, my voice has gone, but Three gadgets have arrived. We have a fan, probably the gadget of 2018. I show off another summer gadget and your videos. All next on The Gizway. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the gizmos because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the gizwiz now. 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 And here he is, the <laughs> doctor that you call when there is no other hope. Dick D. Bartolo, how you doing? Dickie D. Chad, I'm doing okay. Obviously, you were uh, away. Yeah, I'm. And- uh, I'm practicing for my new role uh, as that one like slug character in the Monsters Incorporated. Um, oh my God. I forget the uh, the name of that character. I should probably know my role before uh, I go in to shoot my audition tape. But <laughs> uh, yeah, so so you just got back from E3. <laughs> yes. And uh, so the story is, <clears throat> a few days before E3, my throat started really, really hurting, and I was running a fever, so that was strep throat. So I ran into the doctor. The doctor said, well, if you must travel, you have to have penicillin at least 24 hours before you, you know, are around other people, because 24 hours after your first dose of penicillin, um, that's when you become non-transmittable. And so... I got the penicillin as fast as I can uh, and then went out to E3. So I am I was seriously running on like the smallest deadline of uh, minimum dose required before I hit E3. Oh and my E3's gosh. The, the now, are you wearing hospital bands on your wrist or are they? <laughs> these are party bands. Oh, yeah, party are, bands. Oh, okay. These are the VIP tickets to uh, <laughs> the Twitch party and the ID at Xbox party. Um, oh my gosh. So yeah, and you, you can imagine uh, <laughs> the uh, the weekend of crazy, you know, you're trying to mingle with everyone, you're in these lounges that are incredibly loud, no one can talk, so everybody's screaming at everybody, and oh, uh, my what? poor throat, that was already at a disadvantage because of the strep throat, just took an incredible beating. It doesn't hurt, and... Uh, so it's still good old me, but it it wow. sounds it sounds and you're like go, a great and you're leaving to again, residents. right? Yeah. So next week I'm heading to DC to uh, I'm actually Roz. Thank you, Balik in the chat. Finally got the character correct. I'm Roz from Monsters Incorporated. Um, I'm leaving to DC, but I there's no way I can cancel that because one of the charities that I've done a lot of work for, Game Changer Charity, has named a scholarship after me and oh my i am gosh. delivering the omg chad scholarship in washington dc next week so there's zero way i'm gonna miss that i'm gonna not miss my own scholarship no <laughs> oh my so, gosh uh i think that it'll be able to, i think that i'll be able to heal i'm there's no talking i am not allowed to talk which is easy for me because you know as long as i don't talk to my pets um, then I should be able to heal pretty quick. So okay. Uh, so oh yeah, my yeah, yeah. gosh! But yeah, other than this, the Gizwiz, the rare OMG Chad no voice uh, conversation. But we have a jam-packed episode. This might include the best gadget of 2018. It is uh, uh, incredible. Well, actually, you started by buying this twenty dollar uh, camera. Yeah, the and wise then, cam. Yeah, the wise cam, exactly. And then someone emailed me and said, well, now there's a new version of it that does a lot more. If you want to throw away 
Twenty nine ninety nine. Toss out so, that twenty dollar thing. <coughs> Get we'll show you the output $10. of it in, in, in a minute because I jumped on it and bought one right away. So here's a one minute video from the company that talks about the one Chad bought and then the new one which I bought. So let's take a look at that. Oops. And so it's saying revolutionary, too good to be true, from a lot of the reviews around the internet. And then people said, but it doesn't move. <laughs> Outside of you spinning it. <laughs> it was really good on the ad. And it's 30 bucks. <laughs> 30 dollars. Now if I'm talking too much. Cuz I get so excited about the so things I love. That that is the sales pitch and what a sales pitch for 30 bucks you get. And no, and it's very funny because um when I did my spot with Leo on a Saturday, he said, "Dick, wait till you see what I just got." And he took out the the uh, wise campaign, and I said, "Well, I got mine yesterday." And Leo said, "How can they sell these for thirty dollars?" And I said, "Maybe it's the old joke that's no longer a joke. Uh, volume, you know, the old joke is um, the uh, they cost me fifty dollars and I sell them for thirty. And someone said, "Well, how can you make any money that way?" And the guy says, "Volume." <laughs> well, m maybe they'll they'll sell a billion of these. I don't even know if they sell a billion how they can make money. Um, it was thirty dollars and uh, roughly eight dollars shipping. And actually, I sent Chad the share link, and so, so now are. this so, is this is just amazing. <laughs> you can use it to pan just and tilt amazing. around. Now it's it yeah. looks better if I go into portrait mode and hold it up closer to the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> there we okay. go. So now that is me. There's the back of me. I mean, it's like astounding. It's incredible. The, I mean, this is the, super high quality video. I have used the motion tracking and motion tagging uh, with the $20 wise cam, and it works wonderfully. Night so now you see. Is incredible. <laughs> you can I see can, that Dennis put a bowl of chips down for me. Yeah. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go enhance enhance on those chips. <laughs> there we go. Oops, I went the wrong direction. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's and then when you reach the edge, it'll give you a little pop up. Oh, at least it does it in portrait mode, as it says, uh, "You've reached the end." And let's see if I can. I I, I think this is like so. There you go. Astounding. Yeah, that you reached the yeah. end. That my my video camera is here. I'm not touching it. Chad is running the camera. Who is that from is from Dallas? You may have J an intruder, Dick. You may have an intruder. <laughs> an intruder. You're He's stealing on, you're your chips. On the wise cam. Are you, are you that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my Look God! Right he hits there. me again. We got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him. Oh, alert the authorities. <laughs> I, I think this is just the best. I, mean, I think it's you nailed incredible it. This because is the also best. from my view, I'm looking at you on Skype, one of the lowest latency video products around. And yes. this is showing almost a mirror image. It's a little bit more delayed, but it's, it's so incredible how real time it is. Here's the things that you get with a $30 camera. You can listen to the sound that's happening in the room. Yes. Well, well I sent Chad the, the link and I'm typing and, and I suddenly hear, Dick, can you hear me? And I'm going, what the? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my, I realized, oh, my God, it's Chad talking through the camera. Right. So you get dual uh, both way uh, duplex, double full duplex uh, audio. You can record locally to your uh, uh, phone or to the device with motion detection. Um, you can take a photo um, on your uh, phone as well. You can schedule time lapses. You can set it up so that if it notices motion and the motion goes through the edge of the screen, 
it will follow that motion. It's not as smooth as what no, is it's in the, it's fifteen mm, frames a second. Right, right, right. Um, it's just, and then you can share these cameras around. The app is solid, just as solid as you know the twenty dollar one, except it adds a pan tilt uh, functionality. I, the settings are super easy to dig into. <clears throat> you know, we I I remember back in. I think we cover, it was the uh, spy month or something. I got some camera, some hidden camera or something, like some security camera. And the instructions were like, double press and then hold the button. And then if you see a blue light for two <laughs> seconds, that means that it's in motion capture mode. I mean, there's none of that. It's all done through the app. You just tell it what you want. I mean, it's amazing. It's incredible. Yeah. For $30. And you bought it and it shipped and it delivered pretty quick. Yeah, I got it in like four days. Yeah, for and and it's also on Amazon from Wise, and and so on Amazon it's the same price, um, and actually on Amazon it's thirty eight dollars and free shipping. Okay, yeah. if you buy it on their website, it's thirty dollars and eight dollars shipping. So yeah. you have your choice <laughs> exactly. of, uh, where you, you where you want to buy it. But right. I had one I had one mini problem is the first three times um, when I was trying to hook it up to my Wi-Fi, kept saying, uh, I cannot find that Wi-Fi network. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, my phone's on it. Why aren't, why can't you see it? And then I looked in the, uh, I went to the uh, uh, troubleshooting thing and it said, make sure that you're using the 2.4 uh, range on your router. And I went back in and realized that the phone was on the five gigahertz. So I went back and told the phone, to drop down to 2.4 and then it was instantly recognized. The setup <laughs> is pretty is... simple. I mean, setup is like, <laughs> use the app, You the app generates a QR code that you hold in front of the camera and then yes. the camera reads it and tells you, I'm working on it, I did it, I didn't do it. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, it's really incredible. No. Yeah. Oh, and, and in my case it said uh, connected, but we think that office chair would look a lot better if you moved it in the other corner yeah they and said then have you tried the mauve for a, <laughs> you know i think that mauve is really your color yeah it's your color it's your yeah. color now this is really just amazing it's yeah. wise wise cam w y z e cam and yeah just to be devil's advocate there's a few things it doesn't do which some other cameras do uh the anchor product that we saw just a few weeks ago does incredible battery life so this has to be plugged in the local recording is on the camera itself so if a burglar sees your camera takes your camera well you don't have that local recording anymore because it was in it was included well you know I, I thought they did i thought they did two weeks of they free do. so they do two weeks of rolling backup uh so 14 okay. days the only way that's activated is if you turn on motion tracking and that can be a little annoying because you get tons of notifications oh, on your phone. Okay. So I would turn on notification. I would turn on motion tracking. Turn off notifications on your phone so you don't get those notifications all the time. Uh, and then if you ever wonder, if you ever notice something missing or notice something different, the app still has a notifications tab that you can click into and scroll through the notifications there. Um, but it just overwhelms your phone with the amount of uh, motion uh, notifications, and that's the only way it gets it up to the cloud. The other issue that I could see is that it only puts it up to the cloud once the motion that it detected is finished. So if the motion it's detecting is going on for two minutes, well, it's not automatically uploading that. It kind of waits for it to finish. This is, oh, this okay. is so far in my... I guess, I guess I do have to put an asterisk on this. I, I haven't talked to anyone at the company, but this is what I assume happens based off of my... So worst case is that a burglar comes up, <clears throat> grabs your thing and unplugs it from the wall before the motion's over. And so it wouldn't get that file up to the cloud. So you wouldn't actually have the actual f video footage of the burglar taking your camera. Uh, could be worst case scenario. Um, okay. So, and... It's also, it's not uh, internally IP based. Some people get really freaked out, really, really freaked out by using a third party to store and host their video files. They want everything done at the home. 
it never goes up up online but this is this is a cloud service through and through you can look at your cameras anywhere in the world you, you don't have to figure out any sort of like weird dns you know open up ports at your home so that you can see it uh when you're out of state that's because it's all cloud based already and some people get freaked out that there's a third party managing your videos and your security they want to do it all themselves so those are the downsides but now you know but for, <laughs> now, now you know them. yeah exactly yeah, 30 dollars exactly yeah exactly. no it's neat it's I, really I it. really I, great uh, next week i'll probably have one uh, because <laughs> that is darn cool because also it's like 30 dollars is in the budget somewhere i mean it's hard yeah. to say no to 38 bucks no just uh, sure. give up a lunch uh, at a restaurant for one day. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay. Uh, all right, so Fantastic. we're going to do a as seen on TV uh, gadget. So if you want to go to uh, smartswab. smartswab.com. And this is and a, like the standard the, the, as yes. seen on TV website. Yes, and like. there's their little, if you just click on that, that's their, we can do a minute of their commercial. You need to uh, clean your ears. Too much whoa. wax or water can impair hearing and cause infections. But doctor oh, visits gosh. can be expensive and cleaning with swabs can Sweet. hurt. Ouch! Oh, well, smart swab! Ow. Another bright idea from Bulbhead, the new and innovative oh, ear swab, Bulbhead. and that the best way to clean your no ear comfortably impressed. and safely. You simply place it in your ear, <laughs> twist, it looks like and a remove your wax. It's that easy. Uh, swabs can go too far and cause pain. Smart swab's secret is the first of all, the guy's got rocks in his ear. Designed yeah. to build the perfect distance into the, the ear. Then, with a simple it twist, through granite. On the wax and safely <laughs> extracts it without injuring your ear. Wow, I have never taken out that much wax. Oh, this before. this professional, uh, you know, all these people are actually doctors. If you didn't know, <laughs> all of these are the most experts in their field. You can tell because of the background and the clothes that they're wearing. Touch yes. replacement tips. Discarding is simple. Ironically, the most common cause of earwax blockage is when people use cotton swabs or other objects that can just push the wax like. deeper into the ear, potentially injuring oh, your eardrum. Oh, that should not. Right. Smart swabs extraction system eliminates okay, the worry. Okay, okay. Okay. So, uh, smart oh, smart. The, okay. What? Okay. All so right. So now, uh, let's just, we can go to my video here. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay. So that is the smart swab commercial. Now, what you don't know, and actually no one knows, it was uh, embargoed, actually it's still embargoed. Uh, what, what the heck? Uh, there is a powered Bluetooth version coming out. And that will actually clean both ears <laughs> from the one side. You can. It's made for dogs see too. How effective this <laughs> is. Okay, so that's not coming out. So this is Smart Swab, and that's what it looks like in person. That's a lot of to tell you the truth, I tried it several times. Dennis has tried it several times. Neither one of us ever got any wax out of our ears. Dennis cleans his ears like every week. Uh, I cleaned mine when I was a child. Okay. Uh, so I imagine really the size of your ear is actually, I can show you this. This has been in my ear uh, and it did nothing. On Amazon, it got 3.1 stars out of five from let's see how many people uh 82 customers that should be a testimony and this has been in my also, ear they tell you <laughs> only use one only use the tips once don't dare wash them don't dare stick it in this ear and then in that ear throw it out i don't know about that it says you could uh, uh spread germs okay so if you have germs in one ear don't you have them in the other? I don't know. Uh, so you get 16 of these. Uh, if you use it, they, they say do it twice a week. So the, the tips come to... Actually, this price is very high. Uh, I'm just looking back here. When I looked the other day, it was $9.99. And now it's $14.99. But that's Amazon. I think if you shop around on the web uh, or, or your local drugstore, the kit sells for about $10. So... That means the tips are roughly 50 cents each, okay? And two bucks for the handle. Uh, I don't, for me, it was just a waste of money. 
You have to decide for yourself. Dick DiBartolo, the man's maddest writer with naturally clean ears. Bye. <laughs> That's what we all hope for, really. That's the, the yes. goal. Naturally yes. clean ears. Yeah, that looks like a... Uh, now Another I did find it brilliant for, marketing uh, campaign from yes uh, yes from Bulbhead uh, right there. I Sorry. I found uh, I sent you a link where it is ten bucks on Amazon, but um, it has seventy percent of the reviewers gave it one <laughs> star. Okay. Oh, it went it went up since this afternoon. Oh, no, it did. It did. Look at that. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, I guess the, I guess they were they were gonna do it. Um, yeah, that went up. Not, uh, oh my yeah, gosh, went so up look a at buck. that is that is like the death spiral of a product <laughs> right there. That is incredible. One star, seventy percent. I mean, you really can't go much. Oh, lower there's, there's than another two one. Stars. Just like I don't like them. Nothing comes out of my ear. That is hilarious. Yeah, because I guess what they to, did. You have to get one star. At least you can't go to zero yes. stars. So if you see a product at two stars, that means that one was the average, and all these other ones bumped it to two. Wow. Yes, my guess is they made it so big that no one can do any damage right. with their ear, and only if you have wax that's piled all the way out, almost to the edge, can this thing actually pick something up. This looks like so, a product that was designed by lawyers. <laughs> yeah, yes, wow. exactly. Exactly. And I, I, I also love Who's that thing. Who's here is this? God, that is, a, I, I, that is just nasty. I know. Don't, I, I, I love the thing of don't use the same tip in both ears. Keep using them until you run out and so you have to spend another 10 bucks. Yeah, if you use the tips more than once, that ruins our business model. So don't <laughs> do it. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. Nice packaging, but that's it. Smart swab. <laughs> not a in smart my ear and Nothing came out. Dick T. Bartolo. Right. Stick um, this in your ear. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Okay. okay, so as seen on TV and should not be seen on your shelf. Perfect. Um, okay, something else I bought and did like, so let's take a peek at that. All right, so what the heck is that? Uh, uh, did you ever have an idea to say, you know, I wish someone made a hydratable And then cup. you go online and someone has not made dead. it. And what I wish I had made is when I go to the gym and it's raining out, I don't want to wear shoes to protect me from the rain and then have to change into sneakers. I thought, what if someone made something to protect my sneakers? All right. So there is something. This is them. And this is what they look like here. They have disposable non-slip shoe cover booties, extra thick water resistant polypropylene shoe gods. And you get a hundred of them for Sixteen ninety five, and they figure it out for you. Fortunately, on Amazon, uh, that comes to thirty four cents a pair, and fairly decent. Uh, Fifty eight reviews. It looks like four point. Uh, let's say four points two two stars out of five. Uh, do they work? Uh, let's put them on and see. Let's put on a pair. Kind of weird, aren't they? Uh, uh, see how they fit. And then we're going to go down the cellar because they've been repairing some pipes. And I look down there and it looks like it's all wet. So, da -da. let's see. So I wear a ten and a half and the description says fits right. uh, men up to a size 11. That's one. So I and believe that. Perfect. This is... And they're stylish, stylish too. <laughs> yeah, like Dennis had a idea. lot of. Dennis said you would wear water. those in the street. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's where you don't want to wear galoshes <laughs> or rubbers, and you're gonna get to your destination. And you, Dennis, the designer, you can take these going, off no. and throw them away, or take these off and put them in a, in a pet, uh, plastic bag. Um, okay, so now on to the test site. All right, I'm down the basement, 
and ta -da! the test area here, and I'm <laughs> singing in the rain and walking in mud. Bum 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 bum. Okay. Um, all right, so this is a good test, all right? So if you're out in the street in the rain, there's a nice puddle here. Uh, this would, I'm going to be very depressed if I take these off and my shoes are soaked. But we're going to find <laughs> out in a minute when we go back to the studio. So I'm out of the basement, okay? And the time it's snowing. They got the really muddy, off. as you can see. Look oh, at the yeah. bottom. Yeah. And let's see. My shoe did get a little wet at the back, okay? However, <laughs> had I known it, I would have put on extra clean socks. My socks are dry. This turned out to be two take theater because I walked through several puddles, but there were such shadows on me. We did it a second time. So these have been in a lot of water. Hang on a second. There's a little bit of dampness, but not enough. My socks are bone dry. So I like these a lot. Uh, that's it. Dick D. Bartolo, the Giz Wiz, Mads Metis Dryder, and the Dry Sock Guy. Bye. That's really it. So it looks like it does a fantastic job of making, to get, making sure the mud is off of your shoe. It does an <laughs> okay job on job. moisture. Exactly. Now, basically, they're really uh, actually Dennis said I would never wear those out. I, I would wear them to the gym. I have no problem with that because in the rain, who's going to be looking at your shoe wear? So he said, well, I like these much better. Ooh, so I wow. bought a pair of these and turns out that these I did wear them to the gym just as a test. They were full of holes. My feet were wet. Uh, uh -oh. So. The ugly ones do say polypropylene, do say nun skid, and do say indoor outdoor. So oh, if you want to just have something to protect your flaws because you just waxed them, then these uh, the black ones, the good looking ones, work fine. But if you really want to wear them out, uh, you need the water resistant ones. Oh, there's the guy wearing it outside. Yeah. So basically, if you have a beautiful home and you just parkade the floors and a workman comes in and you have the nerve, you can say, hey, put these on. Well, that's actually not uh, – I've actually seen these before when I worked in audiovisual and I installed AV equipment in, in homes. And so you'd be working in the construction site and you'd have mud all over your shoes. Oh. And instead of keeping mud – away from your shoes, you would put them on over your muddy shoes and then walk into to the house so you wouldn't track Now, mud did, did, did the, the owner of the house give them to you or you just carried them yourself? No, the construction company would, would uh, put a big oh. box of them right by the door. Um, and we, we were pros, so we had our own <laughs> just in case. But right. uh, the, the construction sites that I worked on, they had a big old tub of them. And you just pick one up and throw them on your shoes before you walked into the home. Um, and I don't know if you remember, but the homes that I worked on at this AV place were like three, four million dollar homes. So uh -huh. it may have been unnormal. <laughs> it may have been not an industry standard, industry standard for like four million dollar homes. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so you would th throw them on and not screw up their really expensive hardwood floors and tile floors and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, in New York City, a three or $4 million home is, is called a fixer-upper. <laughs> exactly. It's called a shack. <laughs> it's, right. it's called a shack. Right, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so anyway, I like these. And yes, on a rainy day, I have no problem uh, wearing these to the gym over my sneakers so that I can then just go work out and uh, put them in a plastic bag and put them on and wear them home again and then throw them out. So I plan to get two uses out of them, and I will not be putting them in my ear. <laughs> yes. That, yeah, that is not oh, recommended. Oh, okay. You know, while we're speaking of uh, the construction in the cellar, I sent you a picture. Oh, so yeah. don't, don't, show the, don't show the picture yet, okay? okay. So picture this. Two, two uh, construction workers come to the building this morning. They said, we're here uh, to bring this building up to code for New York City. 
And they were here for about four hours, making holes in the ceiling, making an unholy racket. And then they left. And what do you think they did to bring this building up to code? That took two men four hours. Chat room, jump in if you want. Okay. Two men four hours. Two men four holes hours. In the <clears throat> right. Holes in the ceiling to bring this building up to the safe the new safety code of the city. What did was they do? Smoke alarm? Of, yeah. That's like, a, was there that's some type a, of that, wiring? I'm thinking maybe they had to that, replace so, a There wire. was wiring involved. Wiring involved. Like, was the old sensor on, like, aluminum wire, and they had to switch it to copper wire? Uh, air vent, vented to the attic. Uh, um, Eric Duckman said sprinklers, but not enough time. Skylights, no. All right, Chad, go to the photo. This okay, is okay. what took four hours to do. An exit put sign? A, put an exit sign on the front door. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can well, you? Let's the code now. Uh, and look, you'll be blinded right as you run at it. Yes, These and those lights, those lights. lights will come up. But we already have, I said to the man, wait a minute, we have emergency lights. He said, yes, but you do not have emergency lights that say exit. Um, uh, okay. I, 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 I feel so bad for the landlord who, who happened to be in the building. And as the land was coming down, I said, uh, sir, may I show you the way to the exit? Because oh my it's obviously hard to find. And he said, Dick, you're not going to believe it. And now we have to at every moment of the night, you'll have a red glow to, yes, to light your hallway. Thank... <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted you saying you're not going to no, believe no, it. No, 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 no. He said, Dick, he said, as stupid as it is. All the brownstones now are required to have exit. Uh, you know, I wouldn't mind if there was like another way out. <laughs> you know, I, 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 a delivery guy coming down and going now. Yeah, if it was him, I go go out through that glass door where I can see the lamppost. <laughs> or is there a secret way through the cellar? Uh, it, 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 this could it's be just a, a mad magazine article. Isn't that a, it is like a mad magazine <clears throat> article. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah. The next week they'll come back and install another sign that says handle, you know, so that uh, people in an emergency will know where the handle is. Anyway, nice. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Wow. <clears throat> well, that has been. I'm oh, glad you're funny. safe. Uh, uh, yes, you, yes. you must now be able to sleep better at night knowing. Yes. If Jack there happens the to be such a fog outside that there is zero light, and then the smoke will is know. so dense that I will it know. covers up the windows, you'll see a red <laughs> exit sign in order to exit. And you forget where the exit is. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's the front of the building, but... No, some of the people in the chat were saying, does the other side say enter? Uh, yeah. I doubt it. Don't make any suggestions. Yes. Everyone Otherwise, quiet. Right now. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, the city will say, no, outside the building, you'll need another sign that yeah. says uh, enter. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty incredible. Anyway. Okay. Before right. we get so, to yes. my crappy yes. corner, we need to take a moment to give a big, big thank you to our sponsor for this episode, Casper Whoa. Mattress. That's right. I love Casper Mattress. I love talking about Casper Mattress because I own a Casper Mattress. So it is a product that I can put my badly formed words behind, my, <laughs> my bronchitis voice behind as, as wholeheartedly as possible. Casper is, they design products by humans for humans. The original Casper Mattress uh, combines multiple supportive memory foam and it makes the most amazing sleep surface. It really does. It just has, it's the perfect amount of bounce, the perfect amount of sink. It's great. It's breathable. It keeps the temperature perfect. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's the perfect Goldilocks temperature. And you sleep all the way through the night. It's, it's fantastic. I love their mattress. And they're not just a mattress company. Casper, we, I, we've been looking at Casper for so long. It's been fantastic to see them evolve as a company. Now, Casper offers so many different products. 
they they offer pillows and sheets to make every sleep a sleep experience. It's just absolutely amazing. I love them. And when you get uh, when you get a product from Casper, you know that you're gonna have a great experience. It's a fantastic online ordering experience. It gets delivered right to your home. You don't have to lug a mattress around. And all Casper mattresses are made inside the United States. So you order online, it arrives right to your door. Then you get free shipping and returns within the US and Canada. It's amazing. You can use 100 days to test out their mattresses and then decide if this is the perfect mattress for you. Um, and by being a GizWiz listener, we have a fantastic deal for you. Go to casper.com slash GizWiz and use the code GizWiz and you can save $50 off select mattresses at casper.com slash GizWiz and use the code GizWiz when you check out. Terms and conditions apply. It's absolutely amazing. So please, please, please head on over to casper.com uh, slash gizwiz and check out Casper. Absolutely love them. And great. Yes. Now, it's just some great reviews there too. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I, I use it in my guest bedroom. So like, and, and I slept on it <laughs> on my Casper, original Casper uh, for years. So... My, I put my uh, money where my mouth is. I, I absolutely love my Casper mattress. Perfect. Perfect. With that, let's move on to... You know you don't need it, but oh, you I, might want it at Chad's Crappy, crappy corner. corner. Get it. Today, ooh, we're going to check out some maracas. <laughs> no, uh, <clears throat> this is... <coughs> <laughs> the second week in fun summer gadgets. And I have uh, a few really, really cool products. I went outside and recorded just earlier today my review. And so let's uh, check it out. Hey, Ziki D. So here we are in the backyard. And today we are checking out these UB products. Uh, this is a chalk that you mix with water and then you can sort of just apply it like you would paint and a few stencils the first step is to fill up these bottles with water so we're going to do that so the top has a little bit of foil protection and then you have the chalk down there we set it up to the hose and i don't want to like over spray there we go then you lock on the cap and you give it a good shake. Oh, and look, we already have it coming out. Oh, Let's go uh, no. test this. This stencil pack comes with 10 different stencils. So there's tons and tons of different stuff to choose from. Uh, here, let's look at a few of them. Got some stars, some rocket ships, UFOs. Oh my gosh, I like those. Those are some glasses, a donut, cactus. Uh, a, a popsicle and a smiley face, but I'm gonna use these glasses right here. Ooh. I'm take this, and you can see that the chalk solution sort of comes out as you move along. And we're gonna take these. And we're just gonna use the stencil to make sure <clears throat> that we get a lot of chalk in there. It's a really, really hot day here in Dallas. So the, uh, the solution is actually drying. Now I overdid it over here, so I'm not sure if that's gonna look so hot, but let's check it out. <laughs> uh <-oh>. Okay, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. maybe I didn't do so good. Okay, let's do a lighter application here. And it's so hot out here that I can see the it evaporating immediately right there so that's already dry <laughs> uh it's not amazing the charm it could be that uh <laughs> I'm not i'm not waiting enough time i'm going to do an even lighter application 
Here we go. This looks better. Let's test this out. And it definitely was, uh, you'll see that I kind of dragged it off. Here we go, I, I have good hopes for this one. Oh, I slid it too fast. But you can see what these are, uh, and you can also, if you just spell out a name or two. Get out of here. They're very, very fun and easy to apply. There you go. So I really, really like uh, these guys. They're simple, fun, and then of course when you're finished, you just uh, spray it down uh, with water to uh, get rid of the chalk. Back to you in the studio. So the price, these are pretty inexpensive. Uh, and Yubi has a whole line of different products. And also, of course, uh, there were three colors in the pack. I didn't show off the purple or the pink. Um, but uh, here is their website. And so they have spray bottles for $10. They have the product that I just showed off for $8.99. Uh, all the different stencils, uh, that stencil pack that I showed off is only $5. So really, oh, really wow. inexpensive, uh, fun. And they have tons and tons of chalk, chalk products uh, to choose from. And I just really loved this sort of new application of chalk. They have other little like rolling stencils if you want to try out some, some things like that. So really, really nice. And the application was pretty smooth. I was afraid that it might be like kind of crummy coming out of, uh, of, of this thing. Um, but I really, really uh, enjoyed it. <clears throat> so Yubi, spelled Y-O-O-B-I, Yubi, washable roller sidewalk paint. And uh, really, really cool. Um, and then they have a whole bunch of other uh, uh, stencils as well. Uh, and all of this is also available at Target. So if you're in the oh, U.S., great. Target's the easy place to get them. Or you can head on over to Yubi, Y-O-O-B-I dot com to find uh, all the chalk products that, uh, that I talked about. So inexpensive. I, li I, I like the fun. stencil for the glasses. I wonder where they got the idea for that from. <laughs> exactly. Wait, hey, wait a second. Maybe they watched the gizmos. Yeah, I know. I yeah, saw those exactly. and I went, ooh, <laughs> that's perfect. So uh, I should have. No, given those are, that's great fun, and yeah, and they're I really so. inexpensive. Really inexpensive. I love that. Yeah. I mean, sidewalk chalk has always kind of been an inexpensive, fun thing to do. So I'm glad that they kind of stuck with that, and didn't try to charge you know twenty, thirty dollars for three sidewalk paints. Um, they kept it you know really simple, really simple at under ten dollars. Yeah. So I no, really like, I like it. it. Good old thumbs uh, thumbs up from me. A With green that, thumb up. A green a green thumb or a pink or a, <laughs> a pink or thumb, a yeah. purple. There we go. Uh, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. That is the saddest foghorn I have ever seen. <laughs> foghorn. Uh, we have a, a viewer video from uh, a viewer who hasn't submitted before. And it's a great gadget. It's a gadget that... I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy because I didn't even know it, it existed. Uh, let's see uh, Rachel's email. Rachel Z-I-E-S-E -Z -E -E says, uh, hi, guys. Here's my gadget video. It's the Invasion, the Ivation Portable Outdoor Shower. Oh, Ch <laughs> Chad, this is so weird. I apologize if my voice sounds a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cold, but I wanted to get this video submitted. Uh, you're right at home you. here, Rachel. And here's her video. Hi, Dick and Chad. This is Rachel from Minnesota. I am sending you a video of a gadget that I love and I've used for just about a year now. It's called the Ivation Portable Outdoor Shower. 
And you can see from the Amazon listing that it has a very long name otherwise, but that is basically the name of the product. It is a portable shower head that uh, you put the motorized part in a bucket of water or a container of some kind, and it pumps the water through it. So it can be used for camping or, in my case, I use it for washing my dog. Uh, that's Chloe there getting a bath. She has always hated getting a bath, and prior to having this, I would just have to dump a glass of water over her head, and it never really got the shampoo out the way that I wanted. So I had been looking for something to do this, and when this came up last year on Prime Day, I jumped on it. I sped up this video, but her actual bath time in this particular case was about six minutes, which is actually a little longer than normal, and uh, her previous bath time was more like 15 minutes. And what I will do is I will fill up the bucket with warm water as opposed to using water, say, straight from the hose that's cold. This way she still gets a nice warm bath. And during the wintertime, I take it inside and I use it in the shower because my shower head is not detachable. And so I really can't, you know, I can't hold her up to the shower nozzle to, to get her uh, nice and clean that way. So as you saw, the operation is really easy. You just push the button, submerge it in water. You have to make sure that the whole body of the, the main, the bottom part is submerged and then it just works. And when you're ready to stop, you put the button again. I've been using it for almost a year and it's still on the initial charge. It also comes with a suction cup and something to hang it from so you can, uh, you know, keep it in your shower. I can imagine if you lived somewhere that just had a tub, not an actual shower, this could be useful as well or um, the video on Amazon shows it being hung from a tree uh, at any rate I paid $26 for it I believe when I bought it right now it looks like it's about 35 I honestly I think it's worth every penny of the $35 so I would highly recommend it for anyone who is looking for a portable shower for whatever reason they might have all right love the show guys talk to you later bye that is fantastic oh my gosh i love yeah that product. i i, love, I think love, love that yeah and chad i sent a link i found another one on amazon yeah so this is that, the one that looks like that she was talking about and then yeah the, uh th this is oh, yeah that's her one she was talking about right, 35 dollars. Right. it's 35 dollars, and this yeah, one this one is 30 dollars. The, the the interest i had in this one is the way you charge it, the the handle uh, is separate. Uh, With the one she has, you have to charge it on the motor. With right. this one, you evidently can have it running from like an external battery pack. Uh, so, so that's why I was interested in this one. So this is, I think, the one I'm going to buy so that uh, I can... And I think also somewhere someone said that they got a 12 volt thing for it and they, that way I could have it down at the boat. I'm actually thinking that sometimes that is a tiny a, cat. That is the smallest that is, <laughs> cat I have ever seen. Oh, you know what? Charlie and waffles. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh man. I this hope it's perfect. Them. You know, show them that picture. Yeah. This is what we they, need. <laughs> hey kids, you could be that they're looking for new models. <laughs> Wow, that is, uh, that is like a Photoshop fail right there. Yeah, That's I think so. I, I think so. Uh, so I may get this one, but I, I didn't even think about such a thing as a portable shower. So, Rachel, that is really great. Uh, you're going to get, I assume you live in the U.S., so you'll get a uh, Alfred E. Newman picture, 35-year-old picture, and you'll get the current issue of MAD, which I think is the August issue that just came out. And... Uh, if anybody else can do a video by next Friday, uh, that would be great. A video, anything about a gadget, like that's a, uh, a gadget Rachel's had for a year. It's still available, but it's, it's, a one, it's, it's a wonderful gadget that Chad and I didn't even know about. So make a video uh, just like Rachel did, horizontal, and just make sure we can see and hear you. Uh, put it on YouTube. Send us the link to it. And the link goes to mail at 
gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. If you live in the U.S., you get the mad and the picture. If you live anywhere else in the world, I'll sign one of those 35-year-old pictures. I'll scan it, send you a high-res image for you to print out, and it'll be autographed to you. So get your videos in. Next week, we're going to be an unusual taping. We'll be on a Friday. So uh, you have like six days to get us that video. Uh, thanks. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it. And with that, let's move on to the letter. Our uh, letter's from Mo, who's a frequent contributor. He says, Dick and Chad, this company needs to make kids dress up clothing. As a parent, it would be great to dress our kids in clothing made of this material, not have to worry about the kids messing up their attire when you take them to a wedding or graduation. I'm sure all parents would agree. If you drop food on them, or just go down a little. Uh, that one doesn't work, but it's running down. Here you oh, go. Wow. <laughs> so if you do, oh, Chad, what a use for that shower. I know. You bring that with you. There you go. If you spill something on yourself, you can, you can just put run it in that. Anything, a bucket of, of wine, uh, you know, it looks yep. like chocolate or ketchup. You have a, a wine shower to show off your shirt. Yeah. So evidently, this fabric. What's it? Wow, one t shirt is $45. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yikes. Yeah. But. Interesting. It look, let's see, what is that? Is that moisture wicking? That looks like moisture keeping. Absorb. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> that it, like wicks, it, it wicks away moisture. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it takes it from the outside and puts it on you. <laughs> If you sweat on the outside or sweat on the inside, it won't go to the outside. Oh, that's uh, not a good demo. Yeah, I don't know about and that. And I like the other demo first where you uh, spill something on it and in, take, in seconds just wash it off with plain, ordinary water. Um, anyway, wow. 10 T-shirts, 300. Yeah, so at, at least at least $30 a shirt. Yeah, all right. Dollars a shirt if he's round. Uh, I guess I'm gonna just keep sending mine to the laundry. Do, wait, do they do socks? What What is this? Um, <laughs> no. Silver knit. Like yes, for your feet. Oh my gosh! Because, <laughs> huh? You know they should do this for your shoes, Dicky D. That way you don't <laughs> ever get them wet going to the yes! gym. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Wow. Can you go back to that for one second? Did they get half a million dollars? Oh no, uh, we, we need, I need to download a Chrome extension that just blocks out how many, how much money these Indiegogos and Kickstarters and Tiltifies all 491 make. Holy cow. Plus dollars so far. They're it 2, is funded. 213% funded. <laughs> I can't. Uh, uh. It's called In Demand. I'll have this link on the website in case you want to check it out. In Demand Clothing. Nothing very, very sticks to it. You know, I wonder, I, it must cost a lot to develop something like that. Obviously, because the shirt costs, you know, 40 bucks. But yeah. because not all, all things are made out of this. You know, I wonder what the big downsides are to hold it back from every garment. Any, yes. anywhere being created uh, out of this type of material. So Yeah. So, Mo, Great you could have Mo. clothing for your kids for about $900 a kid. <laughs> right. So I think you'll just let them get messy and <laughs> buy them a new shirt. Okay. With that, we want to give a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. They support the show even if we sound like a toad. Uh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for your support. Patreon is a platform to support independent content creators like us, like the Gizwiz, and our patrons support us every single episode. So thank you guys so, so, so much for your generosity. If you enjoy the Gizwiz, please, please consider giving back over at patreon.com. Uh, and we should business. point out we get like an ad once every three months. Right, so. exactly. Yeah, that's very... <laughs> 
Video. We're not making a killing here. <laughs> no. Actually, we're not making anything here, but it's great fun. <laughs> exactly. We're making a podcast. That's really all we're trying to do. Um, <laughs> so thank you guys so, so, so much for your support. Uh, also, some people don't want to give a reoccurring every episode. There's a PayPal link on our website. Just click the Patreon tab at the top and you'll find the link there. Thank you guys so much for your support in any way that you support. Thank you, thank you. Also, head on over to gizwiz.biz to play What the Heck Is It? We are running out of time. We are less than halfway. Or, yeah, we have less than, we have. We, we have two over, more weeks. Yeah, we only have two more weeks. There you go. That's it. <laughs> you that have the easy. gift of gab. There you go. <laughs> and this is the gadget, the whole gadget. So this is what you're trying to guess what the heck it is. Um, and this is, it's obvious, uh, to me that this is a slalom for crickets, uh, you know, the t practicing <laughs> their slalom, good. uh, techniques, uh, you know, it's stylish too. Um, so if you think you know what this gadget is, get on over to gizwiz.biz and get a guessin'. There's six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines, double the mad magazines for funny hilarious, clever, and extremely hoarse sounding answers. <clears throat> oh wait, maybe I made that last one up to try to get a magazine for free. <laughs> uh, so get a guess and over at gizwiz.biz. Thanks for watching our show. You can find us at gizwiz.tv. That's where all of our previous episodes are published. You can also watch the live stream just about every Thursday at 4.30 <laughs> Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time. Next week, we will have a different recording schedule on Friday. Anytime that we record off schedule, there's a banner at the top that lets you know that our schedule has changed. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this episode of Gizwiz. See you next week. And I'll be here. Bye. <laughs>